Last night, as many of you know, President Aquino met with uh, Prime Minister Naoto Kan of uh, Japan. It was a very productive meeting. Um, we're happy to announce that uh, the Japanese government has approved a 21.4 billion peso loan for the upgrade and repair of roads under a DPWH project. We can give you the details of that project in Manila, but uh, we had completed the application for the loan yesterday, and uh, Prime Minister Khan assured President Aquino that the loan was approved, and so we are coming home with a 21.4 billion peso ODA loan for the repair of roads. Um, we also talked to Japan about problems of our nurses uh, entering Japan. Uh, as you know, the uh, examinations there are very strict and uh, the Japanese government has uh, pledged to look into ways to make it easier for Filipino nurses to go and work in Japan. There's a number of uh, different things that will be done. Uh, for example, they're considering having uh, Japanese language instruction in the Philippines even before they take uh, the exam and go to Japan. A number of other measures were considered also for improving the uh, acceptance of Philippine nurses to Japan. On the Japanese side, they have requested and the Philippines has uh, agreed to support um, Japan's uh, election to the for a non-permanent seat in the United Nations Security Council for 2016-2017. So the Philippine vote will be for Japan when that uh, nomination comes in 2015. Uh, other discussions were uh, just a renewal of uh, the close, an acknowledgement of the close ties between the two countries and um, uh, the hope that more investments can come in from Japan in the future. Also this morning, there was the uh, East Asia Summit. Um, President Aquino spoke there at the East Asia Summit along with other leaders. They have uh, decided to invite, you, as you probably know, the United States and Russia to join the East Asia Summit. The Philippines supports this initiative and uh, that will, uh, that's another vote in favor of uh, those two countries joining the summit. There are some questions also about uh, moving forward, how does East Asia Summit uh, proceed with uh, free trade agreements for the members within? There's a proposal from uh, Japan that's on the table. There's also a proposal from China that's on the table. Yesterday, Prime Minister Abisit of Thailand said that you didn't necessarily have to choose between two different proposals, that at some point those two proposals could probably converge so that you would not have to make a choice between the Japanese and the Chinese proposal. President Aquino said he supported the, uh, the uh, opinion of Prime Minister Abisit uh, to perhaps let the two proposals converge instead of choosing between one or the other. So those were the meetings that President Aquino has had. This afternoon we're going to be doing the uh, Australia, the ASEAN Australia, the ASEAN New Zealand. Uh, we, were, we had a bilateral with New Zealand this morning and uh, in just a few minutes we're having a bilateral with uh, Australia where we'll be expected to talk about uh, investments, uh, in, in uh, many different sectors, including mining and uh, trade-related issues. The East Asia Summit this morning, I wasn't there, so um, there, was no, there was no mention in the prepared remarks Could for the president. the atmosphere of the EAS? Because last night the tension was quite high between China and Japan. Did that affect the atmosphere during the EAS? Well, I, not as far as President Aquino was concerned. Uh, during the, uh, I'm sorry, the EAS this morning. This morning. Yeah. This morning. I, as I said, I wasn't there, so I, I wouldn't know. So we don't have Maybe we can talk to Secretary Domingo because he was there with the president. At the bilateral meeting between um, Philippines and Japan, did Japan raise up the issue about the trade deficit? No, they did not. There was no mention of the, the South China Sea in the bilaterals with Japan. How does the Philippines see the tensions, well, the tension between J Japan and China? They held a bilateral this morning, but um, it gave us uh, people quite a scare last night. So how, well, how of course, it's tension? in the interest of ASEAN that tensions like that not, uh, not escalate. But uh, again, this is something between China and Japan, and ASEAN is merely um, there to uh, support and to hope for uh, a peaceful resolution to any of these tensions. Is there concern at all that the tension between China and Japan, they use ASEAN and the, uh, those two proposals for an FTA as a battleground to win China? To we, win don't, ASEAN we don't see that happening at this point. Uh, it looks as if they, like us, are viewing that as something between them and, and not, not uh, involving ASEAN or any of the other non-related countries.
FTA is almost sure because now with the entry of US and Russia, that will be a very big merger. No, well, it's going to be, a, there's, a, there's, again, it's subject to a lot of discussion, so uh, I don't know when that's going to happen. I think sulit yung ginastos ni Pangulong Aquino sa kanyang uh, uh, trip dito sa Vietnam. No? We had a state visit, we had ASEAN summits, we had other summits, ASEAN plus three. He had a number of bilaterals. Nasa stage pa rin si Pangulong Aquino na nagpapakilala siya sa ibang mga leaders sa, sa mundo. No? So this is part of that. We've built a lot of goodwill with many countries here. Uh, President Aquino has reached out and I, I think uh, developed uh, emerging friendships, personal relationships with many of the leaders uh, are, that he's met with. And of course, good personal relations are always, uh, are always a positive step in good um, bilateral relations. And so uh, I think it would be a success in that way. Also, um, while we don't want to bring it down to a question of dollars and cents, no, uh, we did get approval from the Japanese government for that 21 billion peso loan, which will upgrade our roads. So uh, on, on any level, I think we can say that uh, successful this uh, uh, viaje ni Pangulong Aquino. Scheduling conflicts on both sides, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Not so much because he's young, but because he's new on the world stage. You know? It wasn't difficult, but siyempre maninibago ka ng konti. Uh, many of the leaders here have been to these summits, so they know how it goes. This is our first time. And so uh, we're still, as the president said, learning the ropes. Okay, thank you. Thank you.